there. Uh, I'm just quickly going to walk you through how to make sure that your controller is working fine with the application, right? So as you can see, we have the drone for Java application in the applications uh, folder uh, on our Mac OS. If for some reason you do not find the application here, then you can go to the downloads, right? Uh, that's where you downloaded the application from. And uh, uh, once you have unzipped uh, or extracted the, the, the software, then you should find this application in the downloads. Uh, otherwise, we have it in our applications, right? Uh, do a right click on it and then just do open, right? Now, this is going to open the application for you. So, I have multiple screens attached. So, that's why it, it opened up in the other screen, in my main screen. So, once the screen is open, just you can resize it, right? And do a con command R so that it adjusts to the screen size, right? Because let's say you have multiple screens, then the screen is going to fit the screen where it's going to open, right? Uh, so you can do, always do a command R to fit your screen, right? Now the application, as you can see, looks pretty good. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff over here. We have the flight planner over here. We have our controls over here. Then we have the drone command sent. So if you do move left, move right, move back, move front, it will give you the commands over here. You can also control the drone from you. So these commands were from the keyboard, as I just did. So like this move front, I'm just using the front arrow key. Now if you click on the UI, you can also do control the drone from the UI. Uh, I'm going to walk through the uh, through the controller in in a second. Then we have the drone status where this is this particular area is going to display you what's the status of your drone. Then we have the flight planner is going to, so what you can do is that you can execute the flight plan. So this is a straight flight plan. You can increase or decrease the speed. You can increase the time of the flight. And then in this area shows you what all commands are going to be executed on your drone. You will get the drone feed over here. So the camera feed is going to be displayed over here. And over here you will see the, the, the position of your drone in a 3D in the 3D dimension, right? Uh, and then on the left hand side, we have different uh, AI features. The first one we have object detection. The second one we have pose detection. Then we have face tracking, the voice command, recording the video, uh, taking a photo, the burst mode, taking a panorama, and then uh, doing a timer, right? Uh, okay. So now, the, since the, fo the, the focus of this video is about, it, is about the controller, so I'm just going to walk you through how to make sure that your controller is working fine. So I have my controller over here with me right now, which is a plug-in controller. Uh, it can be a Bluetooth controller too. So just make sure that your Bluetooth is connected to the controller uh, and it will work fine. So let me plug in my controller to the laptop. And once you have connected, just just nudge a bit on your controller or press any button right and you can you will see that the controller has popped up now the amazing thing about this is that it will show you as you move around and play around with your controller so you can see the there's a blue highlight of the joystick right and then if i do this one then you can see it's the let the left joystick is moving around so the right joystick is for taking the controller forward backward left and then right and the uh, the left joystick is for I think I think I interchanged anyway the left joystick is for uh, uh, is for anti-clockwise clockwise up and then down right uh, the arrow key the arrow buttons these are used for increasing the increasing the speed so let's say you have a drone then you can decrease the speed in mid flight of in the mid flight and then you can increase it right this one is your takeoff and land button, right? And so, and then the buttons we have X, Y, A, B, they are for machine learning fun functionality. So if you, let's say you press the, the, the topmost button is going to be an object detection, right? You can close it by pressing it down again. Then if you press B, it's going to be a human post detection. And then you can close it. Then this one is going to be an audio control or the voice command. Uh, it's going to ask you that do you want to uh, allow the application to access the microphone, just say yes. 
uh, and then this one is for uh, face tracking. So the the drone is going to follow the most, the closest face in its uh, in its viewpoint, right? And then for the cine cinematography, we have the buttons on the front of the controller, which is the LR, the RB, uh, the RT, and the LT, right? So those are mostly for cinema. All the four buttons are for for taking uh, videos, panorama a timer, a burst mode, and all those functionalities. So if I just like, let's click on, on the uh, photo, so it's taking a photo right now, and then you can press it again, and it's going to just, as soon as it says it's done taking a photo, it will turn back uh, black again, right? So yeah, this is some brief overview to make sure that your controller is working fine. If for any reason your controller is not getting, not showing up, Feel free to get back to get in touch with us, and we'll make sure that uh, to debug what the issue is, right, and get it working on your laptop. All right, thank you so much for uh, joining in. Uh, awesome. Uh, looking forward to uh, have you guys enjoy the software. All right, thank you. Bye.